And what yard's he from? <laughs> what yard? Yeah, white boy from the yard. What yeah, yard? like the like the, the yard and the, no 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 like pff, military stuff. <laughs> uh, like the yard. <laughs> What's up my fellow gym rats, bodybuilding and chemical enthusiasts, it's that white boy from the yard back at it again with another video with Dr. Tony Huge, obviously another enhanced question series. Now this is the cycle, this is the hybrid gear and SARM stack, testosterone and hanthate, magnolone and folitonic. So Dr. Tony Huge, the question for today is, what dosage to cycle testosterone in combination with magnolone and folitonic without needing an AI which is aromatized inhibitor because of the free testosterone converting into estrogen I'm um, just let's say for a period of time like eight weeks uh, you had first told me 200 milligrams like more like a testosterone replacement therapy dosage well what about it oh white boy from the yard you want to know uh, what dosage of testosterone preferably 300 milligrams you want to do that would not require an AI when also stacking it with folotonic and magnolone for eight weeks well I told you 200 milligrams and you were shocked. You thought that was a little bit low, but here's the reasoning why. So we don't want to use an AI, and I agree with that. I, I agree with using the maximum dosage of testosterone possible until needing an AI, and then that's the cutoff point, and we add other anabolics on top of it. That's just my theory for advanced bodybuilding and the future of bodybuilding instead of the old school protocols. Uh, but when you take magnolone and folotonic, they're actually going to have a higher binding affinity. They're going to occupy the androgen receptors, leaving more of the testosterone unable to occupy the receptors and therefore to be converted to estrogen and DHT, which is uh, good to an extent. But the more of the testosterone that converts to DHT and estrogen, the more side effects you're going to get. And you're trying to be side effect free, which is possible. You can actually do a cycle of testosterone, magnolone, and folotonic with very few or pretty much no relevant side effects, like no drawbacks to it, as long as the dosages are reasonable and the rest of the lifestyle is healthy. Um, so that's why I said 200 milligrams. I mean, Trevor, do you agree when we're stacking it? Like, we don't need an AI at 200 milligrams. Most Depends on the folotonic and magnolone dosage, I suppose, though. Well, and it seems like the, the folotonic is binding to places you don't want testosterone to bind to. So you're freeing up a lot of testosterone, which means you can take a lot less testosterone to get the intended effect. And again, just getting your labs done because if you're taking 400 milligrams and your free test is 50, but you're taking 200 and your free test is 48, you, then you have to wonder where is that other testosterone going? It's going to places you don't want, like you said. So I, other than that, there's really nothing else I can add to it. Just is that every seven or 10 days that you told me? How many, oh, well, every seven days, 200 milligrams every seven days, I mean, yeah. yeah, and some people do get gyno from that, but that's an individual thing. So some people are very susceptible to it. That's why I say get your labs done too, um, yeah. but it's very rare. And whenever we're doing a cycle, we start out with a plan, but the plan can change as new variables appear. So don't get stuck on the idea of a specific dosage the whole time. Start out with a certain dosage and document and be very aware of how you feel with that dosage, whether it needs to be adjusted. And what yard is he from? <laughs> what yard? Yeah, white boy from the yard, but yeah. yeah. Like, the, like the yard the and the, no, 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 like pff, military stuff, <laughs> uh, like the yard. Be swell and swell, friend of freedom, pioneer of human evolution. <laughs> well, actually, from the yard is coming from a couple of things. Um, just to clarify it, actually, from the yard, the yard is like a synonym, like the same as the gym. So you're coming from the gym, all right? That's where you're coming from the yard. Also, the yard as in the field, like indeed military stuff. And obviously, the prison yard. The prison yard is also the yard referred to where you can work out. So, you know, I've never been the most well-behaved guy and I got into a lot of trouble in the past. I've been a biker, a military man, I did criminal stuff. I was probably like the only white boy in my friend group. So the yard is for everyone out there that works out, is in the field, or does this thing in the streets, okay? But again, thanks a lot for answering these questions. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section or on my Instagram. If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe. Help a white boy to 1K. A whole lot of more content coming soon. Check out Anabolic TV and FromTheYardNation.com. And that was it for today's video. Like I said, thanks a lot for watching again. I'm out.